Well, the year is winding down and the thoughts of the men and women of Otago are starting to turn to summer holidays. Mine are. Tonight we will gaze deep into the crystal ball of weather predictions to give you a 100% accurate idea of what the weather will be like during those holidays. We do that with the help of Dave Stewart and his crystal ball from Rain Effects. Good evening, Dave. Good evening. Although you're more about the science. It's been kind of chilly recently. Is that normal for this time of year? Yes, it is. We're still in spring. Uh, we can have anything in spring. We can have uh, hot, we can have cold. Um, and it's chilly just now, but uh, memories are a bit short. November's been pretty damn good mm -hmm. for most of it. Um, October was lousy, but uh, November's been good up until the last few days. Bit of an easterly, bit of a southerly, and uh, yeah, it's a bit cold and all of a sudden we feel it because we got used to the warmer conditions. Do you predict that summer will arrive on the 1st of December? No. <laughs> it's officially summer on the 1st of December. Uh, December can often be uh, quite unsettled. We've had uh, some pretty rough weather from time to time in December. We've also had some good Decembers, but generally they are unsettled. And um, we've even been known to see snowflakes on Christmas Day. Okay, so it can get cold in December. It usually starts to pick up in, in January and February. Uh, traditionally, it would always be our nicest month. Christmas is less than a month away. Are you anticipating snowflakes? No. For the day? No. Have you got any clues? No. Oh goodness. What kind of summer can we expect this year then? Um, summer, looking at what Niwa tell us, um, it's supposed to be maybe a little warmer than, than usual or close to, close to average and maybe a little less rain than usual or maybe average. Um, as long as you put plenty of maybes in, you're always going to get it 100% <laughs> right, aren't you? Yeah. Right. Um, so, I mean, if it follows the trend, then it, it, we had a really nice uh, uh, August, September. We had a lousy October. We had a nice November. Uh, you know, we, we might actually get some reasonable summer again this year with a bit of luck. Uh, if, we ha if we have all the rough weather in October and December or something, and then January and February are nice, that would be quite acceptable. Any prediction of wind? We've had rather a lot of nor'easters lately, which are a bit... Well, the nor'easters the nor we've been having uh, come with the, um, the anti-cyclones, mm. and that's just a part of Dunedin being on the coast. Uh, we get smacked with the northeasterly, and it roars down the harbour, gets funnelled by the harbour, and if you're in the, in the centre of town and right out through, through to Andy Bay, it blasts out there. But if you live in places that are sheltered from it, like Pine Hill, you mm. don't get it. You just have the nice sunny weather without the wind. Which is obviously where you're living, Yes, Dave. obviously. <laughs> <laughs> How are water levels looking around the region? Rivers are low. Uh, as I said, November was reasonably dry, so the rivers have dropped quite significantly. We had quite a bit of rain in October, but uh, really the, quite, the rivers are quite low. Um, not quite at uh, irrigation restrictions, although one or two in the Tyree, in the Strathtyree, will be on restrictions now. So we do need a bit of rain. Um, we don't need too much, just enough, just to keep the lawns growing and the um, and the rivers up. Uh, but yes, it, it has been dry, it, and it's quite noticeably dry and warm. So the rivers are looking low, uh, lower than what they would normally be at this time of the year. Uh, they could do with a little bit of a boost. Dave Stewart from Rain Effects, thank you very much for your time. My pleasure.